Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, as you know, I mostly do cards, but I wanted to try something a little different this week. So I decided to make a uh, folio that you could use for journaling. And I used all the same scrapbook material or card making material that I normally would use. And I just kind of used it in a little different way. Um, so to start, the outside cover, as you can see here, is really just a 12 by 12 piece of paper that is folded up in the center and glued around the edges to make a double pocket. So that's my folio and it's um, kind of thick. I would say this isn't the thinnest of cardstock, but um, it really fits well, perfect size if you wanted to uh, just use one sheet of paper for that. So what I did on the front, I'm not much of a seamstress, so I have stamps that mimic stitching. So I did that around the, the edge of all of these and this was, I have a different video that I shared how to do this, but this is actually using colored glue sticks. And um, I'll get it a little closer. You can see the little key there. Um, this is just, you know, instead of using wax as a wax seal, I used glue sticks. A lot of the paper itself comes from Hunky Dory um, or purchased through Crafters Companion. So you'll see a lot of that throughout. And I used a lot throughout as well of the Deckle Edge Cutter by Tim Holtz. And um, I inked the edges with usually some kind of brown or gray or something like that. Okay, so as we open it up, the whole point of this is to give you space to do journaling. You could use this for travel. You could use this for, um, you know, uh, milestone events, things like that. Because it's not, it's not like a notebook, but it gives you enough that you could definitely... Um, journal certainly about a few um, days or things like that for sure um, or you could use it maybe like wedding planning something like that so to start with in the front here we just have a little tag which my thought was you could really put something about what the journal is about about on the back and that's really just some book paper and some cardstock and inked edges that kind of thing let's start here on the left side so first, um, this is just a tag I made out of cardstock, figuring you could journal on the back, inked and journal on the back. And that gives you good space to write and it also looks nice. This also coordinates with it. This was another scrap from that same. And as you can see, deckel edge, inked around the sides, hole punch, simple. Next, this is a journaling card that I made. And I used an index card and I just backed it with some um, cardstock from Crafters Companion. And then I just stamped very lightly some different images um, just to give it some depth and dimension. Same with this. This started out as parchment um, paper, I think it was. And um, just did some little stamps just to give it a little, little life. And this really is just some leftover cardstock I had in my stash. Now this is was a little um, different, but so simple to make. So this is a two pocket folder. And the nice thing about it is the whole back is empty, so you can journal on the back. And all it is is three pieces of book paper, folded one edge down on the second paper, folded another edge down, and that gives you the two pockets. And then I had made these two tags to go inside. You could add lace, you could add um, any ephemera that you have, stamps, that kind of thing. And this kind of coordinates with everything as well. So that's the left side. And on the right side, kind of the same. Use some stickers that I had in my stash. I figured the inside of this paper was good too because as you can see, um, it's lined. I did ink it a little bit, but it is lined. So you could also use that for journaling. So in the back, I made this pocket. And this is just a piece of cardstock, piece of book paper with some stamps on it. Um, you know, just book paper, backing, whatever you want to leave the back plane or whatever. This is, again, another index card that I just rounded the edges. I added some inking, some stenciling. And I used the hole punch, I mean a circle punch, to create this just to let you see that there is a, you know, a tag in there. This is two pieces of book paper, similar to what I did before, except instead of putting three, I did two, and then I cut it down a little, and I added some stamps to the front. And again, on the back, 
paper that you could use just to journal on or, you know, leave plain if you like. Another index card with some stamping and some stencil and stamping on this side. You could use any colors that you want, anything that matches whatever your theme is. This was kind of all, you know, mix and matched of scraps that I had, um, but it kind of all works. And this is an old postcard. I just took some um, paper that I had, covered the back of it because I thought it kind of matched well with everything, inked it up. It gives you lots of room to journal. And then this, I don't know, this is my favorite part of the, of the folio. But this was really just a piece of paper folded on an angle, another piece of paper folded on an angle. I cut a card to the size that I wanted, and then I put another piece of paper here with a notch. So really, you could fit three items in here. And it doesn't have to be these tags that I provided. It really could be anything. You could put tickets in here. You could put pictures in here. And then use these in the folio elsewhere. They don't have to go in the pockets that they're that they're in now, but this gives you room to expand and put other things in. So as you can see, there's a pocket back here. This is pocket here. And then in the front, there's this pocket here. Again, giving you room for any kind of tickets or things like that. So this is just my first attempt at using up some of my supplies and then, you know, something for journaling. But um, I'm gonna definitely be making some more of these in the future. And um, we'll see where it goes. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.